rich. You know, I've become rich here on earth. I acquired all of these things. You know, I'm wealthy. I set up bank accounts for my children. I set up bank accounts for myself. You know, I have it all going on. I don't need nothing. You know, I'm good. I don't need anything else. I don't need anything from God. You know, hi, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. I am Pearl. Thank you for all the new subscribers. I'm jumping right into the video today. We are talking about how to know if you are a lukewarm Christian and what it means to actually be a lukewarm person or a Christian because most people, most people have the wrong definition of what it means to be lukewarm. We are preaching it wrong. We are teaching it wrong. And I have done it myself and I had to ask God to forgive me for that because I was listening to what other people were saying about it and I was listening to how other people were preaching it and teaching it, you know, mostly on uh, YouTube and things like that. And sometimes we can get misled by what how other people teach and preach you know and that's why it's so important to get in the word for yourself i know people say that all the time but it's so important to get into the word and study the word for yourself so that you won't be misled and so i wanted to talk about this today because uh like i said at one point i thought i was lukewarm and i'm like wait a minute lukewarm doesn't mean what I think it means. So we want to go into the scripture and talk about, you know, what it means to be a lukewarm believer. And if you are a lukewarm person or believer or Christian or however you want to say it. So we're going to go into the scripture today. Um, this is coming from the book of Revelation. I just have my laptop pulled up right now. So this is coming from the book of the book of Revelation chapter three and this is where it talks about the lukewarm church it starts at verse 14 and it kind of goes all the way to verse 22 but we're gonna not gonna read all that i just wanted to point out something real quick about um the lukewarm church this is this is the revelation that john got from jesus about the lukewarm church i'm gonna start these things say says the amen the faithful and true witness the beginning of the cr creation of god i know your works that you are neither cold nor hot i could wish you were cold or hot so then because you are lukewarm and that's that's what we're talking about lukewarm because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot because you're neither one you're not cold or hot i will vomit you out of my mouth and this is this is the word the word of God for this lukewarm church. He's saying, you know, I know your works. I know your works and I know because God knows everything about us. He knows what we do. He knows everything that we do. God already knows about it. So he knows that either we're cold or we're hot, you know. And so he God is saying because you're neither. He said, I would rather you be one or the other, but because you're neither. You're neither cold nor how hot I'm going to vomit you out of my mouth. And when God says I'm going to vomit you out of my mouth, that is something to pay attention to. He's spitting you out of his mouth. You're no longer a part of him. Verse 17 says, because you say, this is this is why God says I'm going to vomit you out of my mouth. This is why God says you're, you're neither cold nor hot. In verse 17, it kind of just tells us why he said this. And when he starts it out and say, because this is why. So when you're reading the Bible and you're studying the Bible and you just, and you get to the word, the word, because, you know, he's about to explain something to you. So he's saying, because you, you say, because you say, I am rich. I have become wealthy and have need of nothing. This is why God says you're neither cold nor hot and I'm going to vomit you out of my mouth because you say, you say in your mind, in your heart, I am wealthy, I'm rich, I'm rich and I have become wealthy and I have the need of nothing. This is what it means to be a lukewarm person, a lukewarm believer, a lukewarm Christian. He just said it in Revelation chapter 3 verse 17 because you say I am rich and I have become wealthy and I have need of nothing. It's it's a mindset of a person. So a lukewarm ain't just you just come to church and you don't want to do nothing, you don't want to participate. Lukewarm is 
or, or you're not concerned about the things of God. Lukewarm is is more of a, a person, a, a person's mindset, a person's heart that says, I'm rich. You know, I've become rich here on earth. I acquired all of these things. You know, I'm wealthy. I set up bank accounts for my children. I set up bank accounts for myself. You know, I have it all going on. I don't need nothing. You know, I'm good. I don't need anything else. I don't need anything from God. You know, I don't have to put on God. I don't have to, you know what I'm saying? Get in my secret place and pray. I don't have to fast. I don't have to study because I have become rich and I have no need of nothing. I'm wealthy and I'm good. That is what a lukewarm person is. And that is why God says, if you have that mindset, if you have that heart, I'm going to vomit you. I'm going to spit you out of my mouth. You're no longer going to be in my mouth. That is something to pay attention to so if you think like hey i'm i'm lukewarm because i just i go to church but i don't do nothing that's not really being lukewarm that may more so be a dead person like a dead church when uh jesus talked about the uh well john gave the revelation of the dead church in revelations chapter two i believe you could just be dead you could just be empty but to be lukewarm is a person that you think that you have everything you think that you're there you don't want to go to the altar for your sins you don't want to submit to god you don't want to lay before god you don't want to fast and pray you don't want to do the things that you should do to get uh keep that relationship with god you don't want to do those things you feel like i'm already there i don't have to do those things y'all can do it because y'all don't have nothing but i got everything and i don't have to do it and god is rebuking you in this uh passage of scripture and this is also what he says after uh he says because you say i'm rich i have become wealthy and have need of nothing and do not know you do not know that you are wretched miserable poor blind and naked you're all those things you think that you're there but you're not there you really are poor you're blind you cannot see you are naked when god says you know you worship your idols you worship the things that have uh, have eyes and they cannot see have ears and they cannot hear he says you're just like them you're you, you're miserable you're ratchet and he's telling you the condition that you are in when you have a mindset of I'm there and I have arrived and I got everything that I need and I don't need nothing else from God. He's showing you your where you are in the spirit realm. This is a spiritual walk. It's not a, a material uh, uh, walk. We're natural human beings, but, but we're, we're having this spiritual experience and we're to walk in the spirit and not in the flesh. We're to worship the Lord in spirit and truth. We can't even declare that he's Lord, but by his spirit, it's all about the spirit. And he's trying to show you in the spiritual realm where you are. You're poor, you're naked, you're uncovered. You're not even covered. I'm not even covering you because I have spit you out of my mouth because you think that you have everything. And if you have that mindset, he wants us to repent. When we go down to, let's go down to uh, verse 19. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Therefore, be zealous and repent. If you are in this state, if you are a lukewarm person, a lukewarm believer, God is saying, be zealous, be in a hurry, be, a, be anxious to, to repent. And he's saying, I don't send these messages because I don't love you. He, he said, he's saying, as many as I love, I chasten, I rebuke. I love you so much to give you this message. You're watching this because I love you so much to tell you that you may be lukewarm and you may not be lukewarm. Even if you believe that a lukewarm person is a person that just don't see God and just in and out, then you still need to see God. You still need to know what God is saying about you. You still need to get in that place where you desire more of God, that you you uh, want more of God, you won't want and that you are concerned about the things of God. So God is saying, I'm not, I'm not trying to rebuke you because I don't love you. I'm trying to show you where you are so that you will be in a hurry to repent and to get this thing right. Because we're listening to so many things. I'm going to do another video about all of the prophetic words on the internet right now. Because that has been something that's been, oh, 
in my spirit and so i'm gonna do another video about that but i do want to say in this video like be careful of all of the words that you hear all of the prophetic words that you're hearing on the internet right now because not every word is for you you have to know which word is for you and if this word resonates with you with your spirit then you know that the word is for you and you have to pray about that and it's god am i lukewarm because i have to pray am i lukewarm do i think that you know i've arrived and i have all these things and you know i don't want to be that person i don't want to be lukewarm and so i try to pray that i always stay in that state of seeking him I, i'm always seeking him even if i feel like i'm up here in the spirit i'm still seeking him because it was it's times where i get down in the spirit you know it's times where i don't know i don't feel god but i know that he's there because i believe his word when he said he'll never leave me nor forsake me you know if i just love him and i, I seek righteousness he's gonna feel me you know and so I hope you guys got an understanding of what a, being a lukewarm Christian is so that we can transform our minds. You know, it's not just sitting at home and not going to church and not reading your Bible. It's the mindset and the heart of a person that's present. You're there, but you think that you don't need anything from him. And that is what a lukewarm believer is. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned to my next video.